out with the old, in with the new. It is one of the world's biggest parties. It is just hours away here on the glittering Las Vegas Strip. At midnight, fireworks will blast off from seven properties. You see them on your screen there from the MGM all the way up to the stratosphere. 375,000 people are expected to see the show in person on the Strip. Huge crowds means huge security effort. Hector Mejia is live this morning on the Las Vegas Strip with more on those efforts. Good morning, Hector. Good morning to you, John. We are ready for that celebration and for what 2019 has to bring. Authorities are reminding us that there are no specific threats, but with a crowd size this large, security is crucial. And that means a huge coordinated effort between not only Metro Police, but also something from the federal level, including FBI agents, Homeland Security, and the Nevada National Guard. As we speak right now, county crews are busy at work placing these metal fence barriers up and down the Las Vegas Strip on the east side. They've been at it since 2 o'clock this morning, making sure this place is ready to go for tonight's festivities. And the federal government has rated this year's celebration at the second highest priority level and will provide helicopters, docks, federal agents, and communications equipment. Metro will have more than 1,500 uniformed and undercover officers on patrol from the Strip up to Fremont. And they will also coordinate with hotel security at different resorts. You'll see more than 250 National Guard troops and airmen deployed around the valley, with about a quarter of them stationed at McCarran Airport. But authorities tell us that the first line of defense are citizens themselves. If you see something, please don't be shy to say something and dial 911. And we just know it really is up to each one of us to be the eyes and ears to help law enforcement and our first responders.